looking back at that time, I think what's really important is how involved the students got in this issue. And um, I, I was and remain incredibly proud of the students on this campus for speaking out, even when sometimes what they were saying wasn't popular with everyone they were speaking to. We need to improve the ways, say, the city police communicate with the Office of Student Standards when there's a, a situation that's being investigated in both places at the same time so that students aren't being asked to tell, their, a, a victim isn't being asked to tell the story here and tell the story here and tell the story here and tell it here, but if we could have sort of a way to tell it and get it to all the people whom it needs to go to with a minimum of re-traumatization, that's what we want. At the very bottom there's a, a turquoise ribbon and turquoise ribbon is the sexual assault ribbon. And if, if one clicks there, it will bring you to that sexual assault information and um, resources page. My initial understanding was that if a student um, went to this website, they would be able to click on something and there would be a report form that they could fill out. It looks instead like there are links to places where one can get report forms, so a link to see what was going on. I was concerned personally because as soon as the chalking went up last year, I went home and I tried to figure out, okay, let's pretend I'm 20 and I've just been assaulted, where would I get help on campus? And I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. I knew where we do know that there are people working together on our campus to start men's anti-violence groups um, because making reporting easier and more streamlined for victims and for the people who are helping them, that's great. But we're not going to stop sexual assault until we can talk honestly with everybody on our campus, but especially with, with men, about what they can do to, you know, stop a friend from crossing a line. In the U.S., people who study sexual assault talk about this as a rape culture, as a culture in which what looks like normal sexual behavior in movies and in TV ads and in TV shows always has this edge underneath it that's about um, pursuit and manipulation and that makes us that you know those messages can kind of get in our heads and it makes us not have a real healthy idea about what sexual relationships or sexual hooking up really is.